Well, Tuesday's election was a great night for Republicans everywhere except Minnesota. Republicans nationally won control of the U.S. Senate and added to their majority in the U.S. House of Representatives. Joining us now to talk about that is Professor of Law from Hamlin University, David Schultz. Thank you so much for coming on. You're welcome. And of course, we'll talk about the big exception to the Republicans because the Republicans did get the Minnesota House, Correct. the State House. That's a big deal. But why? At a statewide level, did Democrats capture every seat in Minnesota? I think, I think the simple answer is because the economy overall was doing better in the state of Minnesota than it was nationwide. And I think the Democrats as a statewide were able to run on the fact that lowest unemployment rate in eight years, uh, the lowest rate of uninsured in quite a few years. I think the Democrats could largely say that things were going fairly well. And I think most Minnesotans perceived things were going well within the state. And therefore, I think that really did help them out in terms of having a different narrative and a different sort of economic situation than we see for the country overall. And that's important because oftentimes voters are, as you know, as Tom Emmer was saying here, vote on very personal things and oftentimes it's personal in terms of how they think the economy is doing for them. All right. Uh, the Republican Party chair says, well, that's not really the case. It's really about money. Al Franken had $28 million that he spent on his race. Mike McFadden only spent $6 million. Your thoughts on that? Well, certainly no one's going to deny that money makes a huge difference in terms of the prospects. But even if we had marched this back, let's say, to let's say January of this year, one could have made the, or maybe not made that time, but maybe let's say February or March or something, one could have looked at it and said that Al Franken was in a very different position in, a, in the state and Mark Dayton in a very different position in the state than were many other Democrat senators and governors across the country. Again, for the reasons of the economy and also for the fact that in other states, they were perceived that as Democratic governors and Democratic senators were perceived to be far more vulnerable. And where money made the difference was in the sense that the outside money did not come into these races and they went elsewhere. So I agree, money was important, but still, the, I would say the objective conditions and perception of the conditions in the state was critical to the Democrats' success in the state. All right. One thing that you brought up that has not gotten a lot of attention is this issue of turnout. The turnout in Minnesota and across the country was really startlingly low. It was abysmal. Nationwide, approximately one-third of Americans, flip it around, two-thirds of Americans stayed home this election compared to two years ago where it was, or four years, or four years ago, we had 40 percent turnout, 33 percent this time. This time we barely had 50 percent of Minnesotans turn out. Again, it's probably the lowest turnout we've had in a general election in a non-presidential year, I'm going to say in 30 years or more. It's an abysmal turnout, and that's one of the things that Democrats have to be thinking about at this point, is that a lot of the people who didn't turn out were young people, people of color, their base, their core base just did not turn out, and especially did not turn out. This is nationwide. Nationwide, but also yeah. in the state of Minnesota, and did not turn out in Minnesota, especially in those critical rural and, and suburban areas, which is where they lost pretty big. Right, and in terms of the losses, you're talking here about the Minnesota House. Exactly. And because this is, even though the statewide races, the big marquee races right. did go to the Democrats, the Minnesota House, that really is a big deal. So you think it, that it, turnout in those Democratic areas hurt? I think the turnout was one of the issues, and I think part of it was the fact that the Democrats had fundamentally a flawed strategy for running for the legislature. They had a great strategy for electing statewide, where there's more Democrats in the state than Republicans. They had a great strategy for ensuring re-election of legislators in Minneapolis and St. Paul, but they didn't have a strategy for how to win the suburbs in rural Minnesota, right. and that's what cost them. And just quickly, early voting, was it a bust? Well, the evidence before going in was to suggest that we didn't know if it was going to increase turnout from other states. It clearly didn't work here. Now, it's not to say we should scrap it. For anybody who's thinking that early voting was sort of the, the cure-all for get upping turnout, it clearly didn't do it in this election. All right. Professor David Schultz of Hamlin University, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome.